Excel 2010 has some great new features. In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at how those features can be applied to tracking margins in a staffing company. So here I've got a pivot table with a list of all my customers. I've got some uh, pay amounts and bill amounts giving me my gross margin. A couple of things to point out. I could spend a lot more time going into some detail on this, but we've got the concept in here of direct charges. Because we have a system that's fully integrated with an integrated accounts payable and general ledger, you can actually bring accounts payable transactions back into the system and apply those accounts payable transactions to jobs. So those uh, golf expense receipts can actually be brought back in and attached to a specific uh, customer and job assignment. I've also got my payroll tax and benefit costs, and we have the ability after the uh, girls to net payroll processing is done to actually bring those costs back into the system as well to give a much more accurate net margin percentage. So in Excel 2010, the concepts of slicers has been introduced. So all these slicers around this pivot table will actually affect the pivot table and these related graphs as well. So right now, I'm taking a look at the year 2011. I can see the graph here is representing 2011. These are the different industries that I'm selling into or the business units that I have in my staffing company. If I want to see 2010 and 11, I can just highlight both those years. And the graph will change and show me information for 2010 and 2011. Just set that back to 2011. I can also change this if I want to work with a specific office. So let's say I would just want to take a look at things for Albuquerque. I'll just see those customers that are working out of my Albuquerque office and as well the salespeople selling in the Albuquerque office. So I can click, for example, and see John's customers in the Albuquerque office just by clicking there. Or I can clear off both of these restrictions and go back to starting from scratch again. I can also uh, restrict this by week. So on the top here, if I just want to see week two, I can go and start to drill down into specific weeks and see my performance by customer by week. I have multiple tabs in this Excel worksheet. One of the other tabs here is my weekly results by salesperson. Again, just a simple pivot table that's showing me in this example I'm looking at week four, but if I wanted to look at every week, I could clear my restriction and look at every week in the system. And so I can see here by salesperson, I'm looking at revenue by week. I can also, if I just wanted to, take a look at a series of weeks or maybe I wanted to compare a particular week to another week. It's really easy using the slicers in Excel 2010 to allow your internal users to quickly do their own analytics and set up their own report restrictions. In the first couple examples, we've taken a look at more pay bill and aging information. You could also look at information from the front office, such as the number of calls they've made, the number of submittals, that sort of thing. Another thing we have down here is our aging. And I'm going to switch over to my aging tab. So I can see right now I'm looking at my aging for all my customers across all my offices. So I can see a list of all my customers. Also, by hitting the plus sign next to a customer, I can see the specific invoices that are outstanding as well. So you can really get that information out to the people who might want to see it. So again, if I just wanted to see outstanding invoices in a particular business unit, so let's say my banking business unit, I can switch to my banking unit. And I can see I've got a graph over here and my aging information as well. Or if you just want to see it for a particular salesperson, it's easy to switch to a particular salesperson and just see that. Or maybe in this case, you just want to see people that are over 75 days. So across my entire company, I can quickly see just who's over 75 days. And going back to this again for Aaron Fitz, it's just going to show me the invoices for Aaron Fitz that are over 75 days. So using these new features in Microsoft Excel, you can make a lot more different areas of your business open to easy analytics right in a tool that your people are familiar with.